Master Ugwe is losing his platform for going over the edge. This is part 2 of the Master Ugwe saga. Go watch it. But here's a TLDR of what his channel actually is about. His content is all rage bait. It's edgy dark humor that is purposefully triggering to some audience. Wait, let me rephrase that. It's content intended to shock you. Many people were mad at him because his jokes were overused and it didn't have that shock factor anymore. Well, consider me shocked now. So in my last video, I just briefly mentioned his music title, something more of an afterthought, showing you how he likes to shock everyone. But this song got him cancelled. I'm not even gonna pronounce the title of this song, <laughs> I'll be shot down and dragged into the YouTube dungeon of age restriction. But you get it. You don't even have to listen to the song and you know it would be worse than Dr. Giggle Touch. Even you know Miles doesn't go as far as him. And his entire shtick is making me music. How do you do that? And wasted my time. Well, Master Uge is kinda in a weird position on music. He likes to joke around a lot, making meme music like OG Filthy Frank, and then drop some serious music in between. You know, we got this song, and this is the other one he posted on his channel, something more serious. It's clear that he's trying to transition into music if the YouTube thing isn't working out. Can't blame him really. All you need, as a musician, is getting over a million monthly listeners on Spotify and you're a real life millionaire. But if you get the same amount of views on YouTube, you can barely afford rent. So I'm not going to bash him for starting out on his music career and saying that all of his songs are trashy. And I'm talking about his serious songs, not the meme songs. You don't have to be a genius to know why he's uploading serious music in between meme songs. It's like finding diamonds in the dirt. Or in his case, finding poo stained copper in between Dubai's diarrhea pits after eating Indian food. Like, you would compare his serious songs with this shit stains he's making. And you would come to the conclusion that they're way better. Yeah, no shit. Making you think that they're good. Even if these songs are mediocre as hell. But uh, I'll come back to the music part later. He got cancelled, and to make things even worse, he got kicked off TikTok again. He posted something important on Twitter. It's over guys, over 4 years of making dark humor content I'm officially getting cancelled with screenshots of him getting banned. Well, how did you think he got banned? Does it have to do something with his music? Spoiler warning, yes. I find it quite ironic that he said he followed the guidelines on his channels, knowing where the fine line is between comedy and being toxic. YouTube comedy guidelines are very strict. If you do something bad, they literally remove your video instantly. But I adhere to the comedy guidelines and I stay on the line of being too edgy and being normal. Trust me, if I would do anything so controversial that would break the comedy guidelines, I would be punished instantly. I adhere to the comedy guidelines. Like this video isn't even a couple of weeks old. He proceeded to upload this shit together with another song and then proceeded to get cancelled. Isn't life funny? But let's get back to the music part, and especially the meme songs. He is someone that isn't afraid to copy certain trending songs and make his own spin on it. Let me give you an example. We saw a lot of TikToks using the Mr. Bombastic song, like the Mr. Bombastic Bomba Fantastic, that kind of shit. And then he went out of his way to make a similar sounding song with similar kind of lyrics, and then spam upload shorts using his own songs. Here's a short example. It's obvious that he wanted people to start making shorts using his own music. I mean, who says no to more money? But now let's go fast forward and uh, go to the today's releases. Uh, oh, Ukke, how have you fallen from grace? He basically did the same thing as Pam uploading his Mr. Bombastic shorts, but now using different songs. I'll quote you one of his lyrics. Prepare your ears for these bars. There's a reason why Eminem went quiet after hearing this. <clears throat> Kung Fu Panda, my bitch called. She said Goo Goo Gaga. Yeah, I was shocked as well the first time I've heard that. But after hearing it for the hundredth of time on his shorts, it's completely fallen out of flavor. That's not criticism towards him, that's just my opinion. What me about is my racist jokes. Yes, I make dark humor jokes that I think is funny. I love to do them because I think they're funny. 
and since I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of people think they're funny as well. Now, in no way am I racist myself. I don't dislike any race. I don't hate any race. I love all of them. Just because I'm making messed up jokes doesn't mean I'm racist myself. I even make fun of my own culture. Now, 90% of these jokes, I don't say anything racist or anything really bad directly. I make you think it. 90% of what you have said isn't racist, so what? Does the other 10% consist of this? It doesn't really matter, you get the point. He's only getting traction if he goes beyond the lines of what's acceptable. The P word jokes aren't that funny. Neither is saying that a failed Austrian painter is your N word. I'm predicting that his YouTube lifespan will be less than a year. And not because I despise it. I like his Dutch content. But you can only say so much to gain a reaction from your audience. And after a while, it becomes though I'm not funny and that I'm just ruining everything and I want to apologize for absolutely not giving a fuck you guys are telling me that I've fallen off that I'm not funny I'm getting more views than I have ever had on my main channel I'm only going up. Yes, he got 170 million views in a month, but that doesn't last forever. Nothing lasts forever. I hope he's going to take his music career more seriously and not meme around that much. Because the more you guys make these hate videos, the more content I get to use. So if you guys want to use my name by hating on it to get more views, keep doing that shit. I will just keep reacting to them and get more views for myself. Well, do your local Dutch speaker a favor and react to my video. I need them views more than you need them. But that comes back to like spam uploading these shorts and whatever. I'm doing the same thing with certain topics and a lot of these other YouTubers are doing the same thing. We're all milking content at the end of the day. It's as old as YouTube. I remember the good old days where PewDiePie uploaded Happy Wheels content and made like hundreds of videos on it, Jacksepticeye with his K3 videos, Markiplier with his horror videos. So it doesn't really matter if you're milking something, that isn't valid criticism. Everyone is doing it and everyone needs the money. The most important part of milking the content is actually trying to enjoy it. Is my Mr. Bombastic trend. I have created this trend and I cannot choose what goes viral. What I do is I do things and see what goes viral and then keep doing them. That is my only choice as a content creator. It's way smart to do it. You would be stupid to not do it. He knows how to capitalize off shorts, of TikTok or whatever. GG to him. He changed his life around. He became a millionaire by being edgy. But that's all the time I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 50,000 subscribers. And go watch part one. See you in the next one.